Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries, where we are building and playing this Savage Wolf a little bit more. I want to bring this guy to the battlefield once more, I want to give it some more showcase time, and we want to make it better. But before we do that, there is a very interesting mission here. There's an endgame battleground and I totally want to play that. So I would say we gotta go ahead and play that, why not? For that, we need our best mechs that we can get, and uh, yeah, I think we gotta repair the ones that we have right now. Really like the Ultra Auto Cannon Carapace, that's a good one. We have the Arrow Mech, we have the Pretty Baby, and the last one, who's it gonna be? Maybe you? Or HP? You were ATM. Ah, uh, ATM, I don't know if we have enough ammo for you. Maybe not, maybe not. But this Rack Marauder is pretty good. It's not a Marauder, it's a Warhammer. Like, not this one, this one here. This is a still a broken one that I probably want to get rid of. But that's a story for later. So, um, yeah, I would say we're going in. We're going in hot. Let's go ahead, play Endgame Battleground. It's against Steiner. Steiner Devian, like Federated Commonwealth. Um, we don't get the most salvage out of this, but there is probably going to be a heap of stuff that we can pick. I don't believe in the Savage Wolf yet, not in an Endgame mission. I do believe in my awesome, so therefore we're going to take the awesome and we're gonna take major captain boston this should not be a problem great carapace is fine i like the ballistics here we have the arrow and the question is what else do we take we could totally take the rock hammer i think yeah okay uh but not on you maybe we have somebody else who is kind of proficient with it maybe Over you here. you're at the very least not bad with it um yeah. You want to train ballistics more? Sure. Here we go. Here we, Here. go. Here we go. So, this is going to be my squad. This is going to be my 25 days to wait. And this is going to be amazing because Battleground means that there is a lot of fight happening already when we drop. And we are like a third party coming in to help out our allies. We want to destroy enemies as quickly and fast as possible because we want to preserve the allies to be our meat shields for as long as possible. We also have something like a, and you don't see it right now, a uh, base destruction objective down here. So we gotta take care of that. Yeah, I think being aggressive from the get-go is important. Uh-huh. Try again. We got him. So. <laughs> what a swarm. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Insane. So yeah, we, we have so many objectives. Base destruction prevention. Uh, we gotta get these... Encryption keys from the mechs that are right here. Oh boy. And there's one there. 2,000 meters. 2,000 meters is quite a long way to go. Let's join the fray. Join the party here. About to hit the Night Star. We haven't seen a Night Star in ages, right? Yeah. Get that arrow out there, buddy. Maybe Shay, easy target. It sounds not so good. And the big dog. Ooh, I tried to go for head. Quite hit it. Try again. Now he's twisting, but I think we got it anyway. Okay. So, again, enemies. They need to go. They need to go quickly. And we got the first thing. Uh, we need to also preserve whatever is... Uh oh Back there. That was bad. That was the wrong position for me. But now I'm in it. Uh, don't hit me in the back, please. I hit you in the back. So. <gasps> Do you see what's coming? Oh my god. Um, try to get the Banshee real quick. Oh my lord. That is a problem. The Orion. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take the Rock Hammer. Uh, gonna just shoot into the sky. And try our best to... Come on. Mm, maybe I should have stayed on the awesome. I'm, I'm taking way too much damage on the hammer. Way too much. We gotta try to back up. What's going on here? No! Not like this. So chill for a second. Break aggro. Now we go in. It's good. Still getting shot. Oh, getting shot again. Ah! Nope. No, 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 not my back, buddy. Not my back. I need that. 
Okay, so I think I've broken the position where they can backstrike me. But they are fast. They are so damn fast. Okay. And another one. And another one. Ah! The swarm, it's real. Come on. Still getting shot from every side. Just too many of them. Alright. And now you. Nice behind cover, Howard. Are we done? There's one right above me. And we still have to find this thing. Where the hell is he? He's on my radar, but right above me. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. There he is. Trying to do a nasty backstab, I see. So, um, cool. Not cool. Stalker. Stalker down. Perfect. The awesome. There he comes again. Make sure that I'm not getting hit in the back. Wow. So, holy crap. That VTOL swarm was insane. But we survived it. So far. There's still a lot going on. And I don't trust my friends to take care of my Warhammer. So I'm gonna uh -oh, be playing that thing. Get out of here. Get out of here. Tanks are closing in. They really dislike me. Like that. Careful with the SRMs. They are not allowed to come close. And so far, so good, I would say. So far, so devastating. Another one. Another one. And another one. <laughs> what the hell is that? I don't know. I'm gonna shoot everything I can. Shooting on radar here. Oops. Hitting my ally a little bit. Okay, I need to back up. This is way too much now. Where is my... Uh oh Where's my friend with the... the... thing that I have to pick up? All the way back there, but he's safe, right? Seems to be. Is there a mech bay? Somewhere? Ah! <laughs> Go in, guys! Do it! Do it now! And shred the awesome. He doesn't have a lot. I really gotta be in cover here. Ooh. Let me see. Yeah, get that. Get that Highlander down. Ah, hopping out. Are we good? No, we are not good. We are not good at all. Cyclops, large laser auto cannons. I need to back up. And then there is there's a freaking Victor coming in. I should probably go for heat vision to see a bit better through the whole smoke scenario here. Ammo low. Okay. Uh, get that Cyclops. He's almost down. Yes, perfect. Now that, and now that. Great. <gasps> okay, prepare yourself for the final wave. Okay, I am prepared. What was coming? Is there any... There's no repair base. No. Final wave coming in 16 seconds. You know what? I'm gonna go back to my... Awesome. Trying to attract fire. I just go like crazy. To possibly tank this. Let's see. What is the final wave? It's coming down now. It's a locust swarm. Where's it coming from? Where the hell is it coming from? I don't see anything on the map. Are they behind us? Oh, stuff is firing in the back. No! Not my Zeus! Ah, that's a problem. Those locusts are gonna kill him. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is the worst. Target Come on, guys. Help him out. I need that arrow to fly now. Zeus is kind of holding up, but for how long? <laughs> oh no, he's getting swarmed. We need sensor range. As, as, as soon as we can get sensor range, the arrow can help us out big time. Especially against these little buggers. Nobody's coming up here, man. I want to attract fire. Come on, attack, 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 attack. Do it. Yes. That's good. That's good. We got one. Amor is holding. We just need to get close to him, and then 
we just need to destroy the locusts. Come on. That is one arm down. Boop. One down. Try again. Boop. Nope. Not like this. Uh, hold out, buddy. Just hold out. Yes. Damn. And another one. Not quite. Ah, we just need to get the data. We don't even have to let him live. Okay. Ah! Stay here. Stay alive. Stay here, buddy. No! I missed that! I needed to hit. Come on! How close do I have to get? <gasps> that was so close. That was so close, but we got it. Is that the final wave? Like, is this it? Holy crap, Aroni. Oh my god! That was so close! <laughs> but we made it! Yes! So good. <sighs> what a relief! What a roller coaster of emotions. Alright, so we get a bunch of sea bills. We get reputation, which doesn't do anything anymore. We get a misery. Eh, alright. Uh, Basilisk, I think we have one of them already. And then there is the. It's a pretty good assault battle axe. Assault katana and assault claymore. Don't mind if I do. So, the question is what do we take home with us? Interesting to state here that this is the first light engine occurrence that I've ever seen in the game. This is an advanced Highlander. Look at this. Comes with a light engine. Okay. Pretty good. And he goes Stalker, also coming with a light engine. Hmm. I don't think I am going to take that. No, let's uh, look for other things. XL engine, large laser. Don't really care. The Night Star is a good one. But I have better clan stuff already. Also coming with a light engine. You know, the cool thing about light engines is if you get one side also destroyed, it doesn't destroy the whole mech. And it also lowers your weight significantly. So it's basically a, a low tier XL clan engine. But it's good for Inner Sphere mechs. So what's that? Phoenix Hawk? No. Banshee? No. Victor? No. Zeus? Ugh. Marauder 5S. Take that, I guess. Awesome is also not really a thing I want or like. Archer, what are you? Double heat sinks, XL, 300s, MRMs, I see, okay. Nope. Urban Lord. Wait, Urbies are running Roto heat sinks? Radical double, okay. Double XL gyro. Maybe it's worth picking. Let's get some Urbi Lord parts. Sure, why not? We got some Ultra 5s. Um, do we pick them to build upon them? No. We are looking for clan tech. There's a champion. I don't really care about that thing. Man, there's... Ah, I wanted to say there's nothing here. Laser insulators are always good. I like them. Anything else? In terms of equipment here? Lots of locust parts. Lots of locust parts. Who would have thought? Roofed sensors. Better than nothing. I'll take that as a pick. Medium lasers, tier 4. We don't need them. We have a lot of tier 5 already. Um. Yeah. That's it. It's a lot of garbage. But hey, what can you do? I'll take a medium laser tier 2. Uh, sorry, tier 4 for 2 picks. And this ER large, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. So, we finished that mission. Uh, Misery goes to Cold Storage. Basilisk as well. Yes. Is that a second Basilisk that we have now? There's one here. Thought we had another one. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we had one. We're gonna check him out later. That being said, I would say we will take care of our friend, the Savage Wolf now. We need an industrial hub. I want to do some major rebuilds. Let's go to Alcor. It's kind of close. And if I'm not mistaken, we can also pick up some Cantina stuff if we see something. So let's check that out. Alright, arrived at Alcor. Yes, we only have three missions currently. As a rare Banshee which I don't care about. There's equipment, possibly. Let's check that out as well. Light Tech Clan. 
Yeah, not really. LRM 20 Artemis, not really. No. Stuff here, spike fists. Targeting computer missile, supercharger, upper recall, quick cell. Uh, gyro agility, no. That's some heavy Gauss ammo. We have one lying around. Double heat sink kit. Hardhound Pro, Battle Computer Missile. I'm gonna say no to all of these. That's okay. So, the thing that I wanted to talk about here is the following. First of all, we have this Banshee. I don't think the Banshee is doing anything anymore. We're gonna take the Speedy Leg out. I'm gonna take the Mark II Gyro, Melee, the Radical Double Heat Sink Kit, Hot Seat Cockpit, the Nova, Searchlight, or. Upper and lower melee. Plus we probably, maybe we're gonna do something with that stuff again. I don't know. Ah, now more AMS Mark II can go. And the medium laser tier 5. Everything else is gonna get sold. So. Rippity rip. Strippity strip. Next. There's a rock hammer. We have one rock hammer already. I don't see the need of a second rock hammer because that thing just works with rocks or works best with rocks. Take the targeting computer out, take the proto double heatsink or proto heatsink out, engine core armor. And sadly the exchanger is gone. That would be so cool to have it. I'm gonna start the work as well, and then we sell this. Alright. Uh then there's this guy. A Rotor 5A. Yes. I don't think I'm gonna run this thing ever, but we have a proto heatsink here, and that thing needs to go as somewhere. House tier 5. Sure, I'll take it. I'll keep it. Rest can certainly go. So, that's the first part of the plan. Um, now we're going to advance the timeline a little bit until the Marauder is ready. That's what we need. Good. That means we can now sell the, the Rock Hammer. We should probably keep the patchwork around. Maybe we can do something with that later. Alrighty. And that means we can now take a look at the Mad Cat Mark IV B. So, had a little bit of heat problems last time. And we're gonna fix those with dropping Mr. Double Heatsink Clan. And getting the Proto Double Heatsink, which we don't have yet. I don't see it. Hmm, what happened? Was the Marauder not ready yet? Oh, it was not ready yet. Okay. Thought I clicked the right button. There we go. So that also means we can now drop the rock hammer because there's nothing of interest in the mech anymore. It's pretty good. We are heroes here, giving us extra money. Perfect. Um, sure. And then we go in here, as I was saying. I'm wondering, I really wonder how much cooling we can get out of here. Proto heatsink kit. Boom. Our overall cooling is going down. But so is our heat build up. Is this the right call? Like, what is the delta? What's the difference here? We are currently 1.8 ish, 1.7 under. If we always fire. Before that, we had like 3 under. Definitely better. Definitely better. And we won't fire all the time. This thing will jam occasionally. It's gonna be alright. So, Proto Heat Sink Kit. And I think this is already good. I think we're fine here. I think we're golden. We got Ferro Lamella for some extra armor. There's nothing really we want to change, I think. If I had an open slot, I would totally put a laser insulator in here. That would help out a ton as well. But we don't. So we can't. Yeah. That's gonna be it. We could also upgrade this thing with these mech upgrades. But I don't think I'm gonna invest right now. I, I really don't see it. Energy cooldown, missile cooldown range, all of this. I could go with a bit of extra cooling, like heat dissipation. Or reduced heat. Or heat capacity. So many questions. Let's just put it to the test and then we're gonna make a decision afterwards. Alright, so that's that. We repair everything. Got this rack hammer. No, we lost the side! Ah! Gah, 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 gah. Uh, 
That is a sad thing to happen. I was so sure that we came out of this alive without losing anything. Okay, we go down one tier, sadly. But it's okay. I mean, it's still working. It's still doing things. All right. 73 days. It was so close, though. So then we have this heavy metal that we are currently not really using. I'm not pretty sold on these MRMs. Probably should drop it at some point or make something else out of it. Maybe double ATMs would be a good idea and with some extras. Double ATM 9 could do it. Could totally do it. So we can we can shoot early with that and then just close distance and get in and, and shoot enemies to pieces. Um, and there's this uh, 4 HP which currently has the ATMs. And then, I don't know, this thing wanted to go. Cell mech. Yes, thank you. Boom. All right. Here's another thing. We have an Atlas. This Atlas is not bad. Because it is a Starlink Relic, giving us a bit of cooldown and heat management modifiers. Also 10% more range and projectile speed. Currently it's filled with all the Inner Sphere stuff that we found. Um, but by now we can make it better by just putting man stuff in it. Right? Should we? Should we upgrade that Atlas? It was pretty good when we were running it. Let me check that out. So currently we have LRM tier 10, uh, LRM 10 tier 5, that's what I wanted to say, with 5.6 damage per second. This is 3.6 damage per second, but the weapon is definitely lighter. Means we can technically put more stuff in it. By dropping the endo. And then... Slipping these in here. And then I would say a 15. There we go. And then we pretend this is a clan LRM ammo. Actually, let's make it happen. Let me see what it's what it says later. Clan double. One, two, three. Actually, three. Because we might be able to put some energy weapons in here. Alright, that being said. Damage is going down. Big time. Our heat management is going slightly up. There's a Gauss rifle. That is... Wait a sec. We could make a tier 5 out of this. Having 4.5 DPS. 2,700 meters. Or we put a hag in here. Which is better. Little, little less range, but the same DPS. We have this improved heavy gauss as well. Which only has an optimal range of 700 meters. It's also 20 tons. I don't think I want this. And LB10X. Not bad. We save a lot of tonnage with that. Still maintaining an amazing DPS. And the range is a thousand meters as well, so that's okay. Ah, uh, it's max range a thousand. Eh. What about... That's my clan gauss, come on. What about this one? Damage per second is 3.3. .3. So we would lose DPS. But we would also lose weight. Which allows us to put... More or other bigger weapons in this, in this mech. Five seconds cooldown. Five and a half. This thing's just... Better, I guess. Yes, it weighs more. But it's just better. I mean, it's a tier 5 as well. But let me let me see. DPS is going down by 3.9 by now. Alright. We'll try it. Goes double goes here. Now, the thing is. All of a sudden, we got 7 tons that we can utilize. So, we could either make these LRM 10s, 15s, if we have them. I don't know. We have some, yeah. It was a heat sink, I think. So we can do this. And with that, we certainly need another ton of ammo. Hmm. And we're running out of slots. That's the problem. Well, alpha damage is going up, though. Damage per second is kind of the same right now. Cooling is still fine-ish. Um, sure, I'm gonna run this. Absolutely. So we got 15s. Um, question is, do we want another double bin of ammo? I think the answer is always yes in this case. How do we manage that? I also want another laser. Let's talk about the lasers first, okay? Currently we have some ER larges, which have an amazing range of about 850 meters. Double that and you get to the max range, dealing 2.1 damage per second. You guys said I should take a look at these ER large pulse lasers. Let me see. Optimal range is about the same. DPS is 3, which is 1 more. Heat per second, though, 1.4 compared to 
1.7 is not too bad. So we could up our DPS, but we use more tonnage then. I also wonder if we should just put all the ER mediums in the mech that we can find. And drop the ER larges. Just shoot LRMs and Gals, and then when we close in, we have all the... All the small lasers. Like this. You know? Just like that. That sounds like hard points well spent. I actually like the idea. I want to try this. It seems good. Uh, we definitely need more cooling now. Because we are at 6.9. So how do we get this done? Uh, obviously, we're going to put some heat sinks in the mech. And I would say a proto heat sink would go a long way. As well as, I don't know, laser insulators. They're yeah, pushing down the heat a little bit. Give me some double plants. Alright, we have some light heat sinks that we can slap on the mech as well. Alright. And now we have five more tons to work with. I don't know if this is gonna work. At the same time, these ER medium lasers will only fire at a certain range. They will not be fired all the time. So we close in with LRMs and the Gauss, and at some point we can add the lasers to the build, uh, to the to the to the brawl, to the fight, whatever you want to say. Mm. And there's the missile targeting computer, which is good. It's a very good one. We can upgrade it to an advanced missile targeting computer if we have it. We could also go for a targeting computer heat. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at all these green bars here. That's impressive. I really feel like we should put another ton of ammo in the mech. I think I need an ECM as well. I kind of want an ECM on everyone. And I'm not entirely sure if I want the active probe. We have a max range of 1,000 meters here. Max range of... I mean, 3,000, obviously. Interesting. Do we need a... Sensor range of 1400. I guess yes. Because when enemies are closing in at that distance, we need some lock on time. And by the moment they are in our range, we have locked onto the enemies and then can shoot at a thousand meters range. But is an active probe better than an ECM right now? I don't know. Slick speed in the cockpit? Ah, I cannot. I cannot do it. Because I need another slot. Let's talk engine. Get a bigger one. Get another heatsink in here. Damn. Now we are at 100 tons. Uh, honestly, this mech is gonna be amazing. Yes, I like it. I really do like it. Let's get him evasion support. Hello? There we go. And the question is, do we want the slick suite or do we want the probe? I feel like the probe is not bad right now. Maybe I'm dropping a light heatsink. Get the probe in here, and then get the slick suite anyway. Boom. And now that we are slightly under tonnage, I can only upgrade my, my leg armor by one. It doesn't really matter. Why well, drop the probe and still get my... Oh, wait. With the slick suite, we get a sensor range modifier. Oh, that's good. That means we don't need the probe necessarily. Yes, 1300 meters is perfectly fine. That means I can... Would the... Oh, come on, come on, come on. Where's my ECM? I want my... Clan ECM that I don't have anymore. Yeah, that's rough. I want it. Give me my clan ECM. Ah. Ah. I mean, I have Angel, but that's too big now. And a Guardian ECM, which is also too big, because it's two slots... I guess we have to find a clan ECM, but right now I would say we're gonna keep the active probe around, that's fine. Oh wait, another thing I can do is put an XL engine in here and all of a sudden all of our problems are gone. The, the slot problems at the very least. Yeah, I think I'll do it like this. And just for the moment, we keep the probe and we add another double heatsink. Just for the moment. Boom. Oh, did I do? A light heat sink in here. I want the double. And then we're gonna drop this. Okay. 
So, this Atlas is gonna be so much better than it was before. We also want to try this on the battlefield today. Zip. All right. So, it's 130 days and a mere 6.7 million Z-Bills to invest. Did you lose upgrades? Yes, you did. Okay, so... What are we doing with you? Velocity cooldown, energy cooldown, missile range and velocity. Hmm... Eh... I guess we should really put missiles forward, right? There's weapon range and velocity. I like the range for the medium lasers as well here. That's good. Missile damage, energy damage, missile cooldown, missile spread. Uh, give it a 10% missile cooldown time. It's the biggest weapon stack that we have. Laser duration not needed, heat capacity, energy heat, ballistic, acceleration, turn speed, blah, 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 blah. Nothing that we need. More sensoration. Sensoration? Yeah. Sensorations. Um, I really think we should focus on the missiles. We'll take the cooldown. We'll take the spread. We'll take the damage. And then another 5% cooldown. Let's go with this. Alright. We have a new Atlas coming up. And I think I'm going to keep this guy around for ever. This guy is basically perfect. Another thing I need to do, let's not forget about it. We need to actually give it weapon groups. Okay. Where do we go with this now? Um, medium lasers on the six, I would say. Then we have a chain fire group on the five. We have a chain fire group of the missiles on the four. Then we have these assault hands. I don't know. I don't want the hands here because. The AI might think, if I cannot fire group weapon 1 or weapon group 2, I'm going to try to fire weapon group 3. Oh, hands? Right, we're going to move in now. Um, therefore, I'm going to leave them out of this. And this is just my convenience pattern, by the way. Okay. So, that's the building section of the of the episode today. We're going to quickly repair. Uh, not quite done yet. I want to check this out. Damage is 25 for 15 tons. We have clan arrows. We have 21 for 12 tons. That's a downgrade. Wood on a 7.8, cooled on a 6.5. I actually think this arrow 5, arrow 4, tier 5, is better than the clan arrow 4, tier 2. So I'm not gonna take it. Question. Is this better? Wood on a 7. 7.8 for 21 damage. Damage is the same. We would save 3 tons. DPS is going down a bit. And then I would have to mix ammo. Not a thing I enjoy right now. I'll drop the double, by the way, and give it another double bin of ammo. And we are over tonnage. Which is okay, because we can shave legs. It's a very strong razor that we have here to shave our legs. Alright, here we go. Start the work. Boom. Done. Oh, I could have also upgraded these uh, lasers to tier 5, but, you know, who cares about it? We will never shoot them, really. Now, we need a mission. We need a good one. Come on. Battlefield? Battlefield seems fun. Raid Warzone. Yeah, I'll take it. Let's go to a battlefield and uh, test out our new old mechs. We're gonna hop into the Savage Wolf, that's for sure. And we also want to hop into this Atlas. I also totally forgot to hire pilots or to actually check them. Like, he's good! Like, look at him. Almost maxed out already, tier 60 pilot. That can get some quirks. Looking good. Looking very good. But then we have these guys. Which are way better already. Definitely. 77 out of 78. Are you kidding me? Wow. What a champ. Yeah, we want to keep these guys around. Alrighty, guys. Next mission coming up. It's a battlefield in the forest. I guess brawling should be nice here. Yeah? There we go. Heads up, Commander. And it's going to be our squad. So, first off, I need my Savage Wolf. Great. Nobody's really proficient with that guy, right? You have tried it a bit. Here we sure. go. Here we go. Here we go. Um... Don't want the Warhammer Rock right now. I want the Atlas DH. This one. Okay. 
And I will advance the timeline yet again because it's needed. We want to get to the to the point where we find more stuff, bigger stuff, crazier stuff. And for that, we need to skip some years. About a hundred years, by the way. So I'm not even mad spending so much time in space and repairing things and, you know, giving my mech warriors some time off on the beach. It's gonna be all right. Let's go. It's a brawly mech that we are running. So we should actually throw ourselves into the fight. The question is, though... Is our heat management enough? And the other question is... Can we sustain ourselves? Do we have enough ammo? Do we have enough hit points? Armor, basically. Still want to make a self-repairing mech happen. And we have we have some Harshal lying around in, you know, some, some different mechs. There's like, I think, two pods of Harshal 3 in the Highlander. There was, I think, one or two in the Banshee. I think we have two Harshal pods lying around in the bin. We need to combine them and then have a tanky mech that can self-repair and attract fire with a burst build. No streamlining and not patching online. anymore. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. We have the opportunity to pull off a big pair. Let's do it. If we can maintain this position beyond what our contract stipulates, Commander. That said, Farhad will never mm -hmm. shut up about it. If your mech's return Down to go the trees. Like Swiss cheese. Good luck. Just trying my laser right now. Just want to see how it feels. Want to get a feeling for the cooldown. And it is very slow. Well, we're gonna cut a path. Oh, base on a hill. Don't like those. A lot of hard cover here. But maybe that's exactly what we need today as a brawler. Lots of hard cover. Uh, how do we get in here again? On the other side, right? Ah, uh, this seems good. 200 meters, and the show begins. Let's do it. Dropship coming down. I would say we hold here. Let them come in one by one. But I really hope my arrow atlas is not arrowing everybody. That's the ship. New target quick draw. Draw. Interesting. And a Wolverine. So far, not that interesting. I have a new contact. Cannot hit them yet. Yeah, man, that's the arrow. Funnily enough, they actually hit the quick draw with that. And now it's down. Or maybe not. It's somewhere. It cannot hit it. Ah, it's behind cover. See, that's the thing. It's the thing about the forest. Let me engage them. They're fast enough. Badam. Badam. Not bad. It's brawl here. Yeah, baby. That was such a bad shot. <laughs> but we got him in the end. And they're just bringing two enemies here. What's going on? Please come down. It would be very nice of you. Because I cannot get up there easily. Nope. Not like this. Not like this. Ah, come on! Right. Um. I guess our missile dudes are taking him down. And I am... Down here in the trench. Yeah, that's fine. Nice dam, by the way. It's pretty cool. So back to the center of the map because this is just ridiculous where we are right now. Let's try to get a little bit of an open field brawl going for us. I think this is where we shine. Got some helicopters coming in as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cool thing is that we are pretty fast and we could get even faster with the supercharger and or. Speedy leg actuators. We have one lying around. That was good. Uh, we'll take way too much damage here. Right, pull back. Wait for the cooldown to be ready. Unjam and then go in. Obliterated. Right arm is getting smashed though. And yeah, in general, we are getting smashed. Yeah, that's the, that's the drawback. 
being aggressive attracts a lot of fire, especially when you have no friends around that absorb some damage for you. Good. But that's what we are here for. We're here for the test run. Yup. So at this point, I have to only shoot the auto cannon and the missiles. Because I'm getting way too hard with the laser. My right arm. Need to check that. Don't want to lose that auto cannon. Focus, commando. Another dropship. I don't know where it's coming down. These guys will close in quite quickly. Yeah, it's still getting quite hot. Our little wolf here. Why did I drop with the dropship? I think I saw one in the sky. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's an archer. We would attract a lot of fire, I guess. But I went there. Let's see? Follow me, guys. Attack this, please. They have two archers. Oh, no. My range is, what, 400 meters? Roughly. Okay. 300 on the missiles. So we we'll try. That was pretty good. That was pretty good as well. It's quite explosive, I would say. If we can get there, we can take out an enemy like a heavy mech without a problem. So, two more enemies. Actually, it's four. Probably that one dropship there. Let's go. Uh, let's go around here, right side. Follow me, friends. Who got arrowed? Huh? You got arrowed, huh? Ah! Uh, called it. I called it. We lost an LRM-15. Because of... Oh, God. Because of being dumb. That's why. Very nice. Um, these missiles, will they explode on max range? I think they will. Careful. Jammed. Unjammed. Let's go. Yeah, I do believe those those missiles will actually explode when they're reaching their maximum range. Get them now. Good. Oh, this auto cannon. Love it. This auto cannon 20. We need double. We need double ultra auto cannon 20. If we can get there, I think this is gonna be such a bursty nice build. I want to make this happen. We don't need a lot. Two Ultra Auto Cannon 20. That's it. You could see the damage output here, right? It was insane. Screw the missiles. They are just too spready. I don't, I don't really like them. But at Ultra Auto Cannon 20, have another one of those to accompany it, and you just burst enemies apart. And then we just add speed. And we just add self-repairing armor, so we can do it over and over again. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. It was just a snapshot and the Vindicator was just blown up. I'm a fan. Which mech do we need it for it? I don't think it's going to be... The Savage Wolf. I feel like it could be the hero Warhammer 2C that we have. The Maul. Running it on the torso. Having higher hard points. And better protection because it's in the torso. I think that might be nice. So what do we take? We finish a Banshee or a Charger, you say? This is a tremendous value for very little picks. I'll take it. Got a Stalker. Nope. Archer. Nope. Binary Laser. I think we are beyond that. I don't think binary lasers are good uh, where we are right now. I would have instantly taken it a month or two ago. Like, real time. <sighs> but not now. It's good. It's good burst damage. 19 damage is very good. I, I, I don't believe in it. It's 9 tons. 
Range is not the best. Auto cannon 5? No. No, 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 we're not taking it. So, scroll down. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Nothing here. So, we have 38 picks. What do we take? Do we even take this binary laser now? I don't see it. Nope. Instead, we will pick some parts. Finish. Makes no sense at all. Yes, I pick another one of those. You pick more stalker parts so we can build a stalker, maybe, or two or five. And then this. Alright. Yeah, we're becoming basically for the money here. We killed a banshee, though. That's good. Get some extras. And yes, we have to repair an atlas. Ugh, God. Just build this. Can you not destroy all of my friends? Eat it. I just hate it. That was a very good weapon system that we don't have anymore. Uh, now I have to go with the tier 1. Start the work on it. And it's fine. I'm gonna just pay the bill. It's it's okay. We got money right now, so we don't worry. Okay. So, that being said, I want to test the Atlas as well. And for that reason, I'm gonna go to another planet. And I want to play another war zone here. Yeah. Let's make that happen. Probably leave the arrow so we get a good assessment of the strength because the arrow takes so many enemies just away. And I don't want that right now. It's a junkyard. Mm. Oh, and we only get eight salvage. But maybe we just get some money here. It's fine. So. Where the warning is in effect, Commander. Your um, visibility and sensor readings will be compromised out yes. there. Yes, 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 yes. Let's swap this. Still an atlas, you're still good with it. I'll drop this. And I'll get... I don't know, the Rockheimer online. Let's get the pretty baby again. That seems good. Cool. Wait another 55 days. Again, whenever I have a justification to just spend some time, I am happy. Absolutely happy about it. So yeah, we're gonna make a hot swap on the battlefield and see what our friend can do. Very excited to see this on the battlefield. If I'm not mistaken, though, the junkyard is rather hot, so we should factor that into our heat management assessment here. It's a rather hot environment. But if our mech can prevail here, then we're fine. We should be. Let's go. I don't know what else I want here. Like, this is just a test run, right? Maybe we can find another proto-double heatsink kit from a special Inner Sphere variant of a mech. That would be nice. I would also not say no to regular road heat sinks, not just the kits, but the sinks. And I don't know what else, honestly. Maybe some battle computers. There's this modular battle computer thing that we have not really tried yet. What are you firing at? Okay. Where would you go? Stop moving around. So, quickly want to brawl these guys down and then... And then we're gonna swap in. Because my timber wolf, my savage wolf is fast. Can't just go in like that. Yep. God, I love this weapon. Zap. Down they go. Tank. Got some damage in. Hells yeah. Got him. So, time for... Mr. Atlas, look at the weapons down low in the right. That's amazing, dudes. Absolutely fantastic. Run on the lights. Um, and I want to be at medium range against them. So our projectiles don't have to travel that far. Okay. Somebody just got deleted from the game. What was that, an archer? <laughs> that was the strength of the archer autocannon. Come on. I can shoot above it. I'm out to play. There we go. Zap. And again. It's not a brawler. It's a DPS mech. So, we should really 
take our time, stay a bit away from the enemy, let them close in and shoot them constantly while they are doing it. Fires. Uh, it's not enough. Okay, let's try this thing. I cannot see it! Okay, I don't need him. I don't need to. It's the funny thing. I can shoot all of my weapons. That's really good. At this range that we are fighting on, I, I can do it. Why are, why are we in chain fire, by the way? We shouldn't be in chain fire. There we go. Better! Way better! That's what I want. It's really good. It's fun! I can just click that button and there's death coming out of my shoulders. And again. I can really feel the Gauss rifle being very slow though. I really wanted to upgrade the DPS going mid-range. I should take an Ultra Auto Cannon 10 or 5, maybe. Try again. Urban Mac! MRM Erby. Yeah, man. I guess we need more ammo, maybe. We'll see about it. Change sides. And the laser beams. Ooh, and the damage. They're swarming us now. Oh, yeah, they don't like us. What is shooting me here? Whoa, MRM Archer. Or like MRM Gun. And then Auto Cannon 10. Centurion, huh? This is a problem. The problem being that we have to face our enemies like that. In order to get all the damage out. Which means my center torso is exposed quite a lot. But heat management is absolutely fantastic. I can do that forever. Should have done that way earlier, by the way. The whole heat vision situation. Pretty good. It's very, very good. I like this mech. As a support, something that we just slap on the battlefield being piloted by an AI. Love it. It has so much DPS potential. Okay, so I'm gonna back up a little bit. My friendlies take care of this. We are still not done yet. 15 out of 25 enemies, so there's still a lot of metal to grind. A Waven! So this is what I meant. I'm gonna shoot my missiles now. And by the time the missiles are coming in, they are in optimal range for them. So the longer lock on time, a longer lock on range is actually helpful. Waven down. Back. Oh, yeah. Lasers also have a very good cooldown. That's great. That's really good. We don't kill instantly. But the chip damage that we are doing... I mean, it's not chip damage. It's like raw DPS. It's adding up over time so quickly. Here you can see one big problem of Warhammers. They are getting hot as hell. You see the paper... The, 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 what's it called? Thermal Silhouette. That's what I wanted to say. Just was bright red, orange, yellow. Uh, where's the big boy? Big boy. Shoot already? Might have been a little bit too early here. No, never mind. Cannot quite hit him here. That's enough. Laser beams. Gauss rifle. Hell yeah. Two enemies to kill and we can go home. What do you think, guys? Make good? I mean, I like it a lot. Dragon coming in. He's using cover like a boss. But I'm using my weapons like a boss. And I got friends. And they're stepping in front of me. Not very friendly. Yeah, great mid-range mech. I don't think we need the Gauss necessarily. I really feel 
The range is... I mean, we have these LRMs to soften up enemies at range. I can probably go for an Ultra 10. Oh, wait. I need to go. I, I actively have to go. Um, maybe an LB-10. LB-10x auto cannon. Save two more tons. Uh, we probably want these guys down, right? Yeah, let's go. Let's kill him. Ah, we have this actually as a task. That's really good. And it will give us a little bit of extra money. Headshot with the Gauss. I'm almost getting pretty low now. We have the lasers, though. This is our basically last shot with Lurms. Yeah, we should go. I'm going to bleed it. As I was saying, I feel like we need a bit of extra. We certainly need a bit of extra. And I think we need to go now. We're getting Burby swarmed. Guys, help me out, please. Let me take that MRM out. Almost. There we go. We have the MRM down. That's important. Same thing here. Uh-huh. Laser beams. Okay. And... Yeah, you get that Griffin. Actually, we need to get that Hadamoto. We need to get it. So I'm sending in the people to maybe get it. And I'm just waiting in the evac zone so that I can step in as soon as this is done. Basically now. Alrighty. Looking good. So, another double bin of ammo for the LRMs. Gauss. I don't feel it. It's too slow firing for what the mech wants to do. It's an okay weapon, don't get me wrong. But I feel we can get more performance out of this guy by replacing the Gauss with an LBX auto cannon. The range should still be good enough. Saving two tons, getting more ammo in. And that's it, basically. So, what do we take? I said earlier, I wanted some specific things. By the way, we can take that XL and sell it for a great amount of money. But still, money is not one of our biggest concerns right now. This 360 engine, I'll totally take. I'll totally take that. Endo structure, more MRMs. I think we are beyond MRMs, we don't need that. PCs, no double heat sinks. No. No, 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 no. Urban mech? Urban Lord is a thing I want. No. Improved sensors. Oh god. We should really play against clans a bit more. Because I don't know what to pick here. This is all... Oh me, actually. We'll take the dragon. Because they are cheap. One part of a dragon at the very least. They bring us a bit of value. Yeah. And then I would say... I don't know. A cicada. It's fine. And one part of... What... One pick. Come on. Give me something. The uh, targeting computer ballistic. Alright. I would say... Dutch chemical lasers be mine. And that was it for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the episode. What do you think? Good brawler. Can we make it better? I guess so. What do you think of the Atlas? Let a Leave a comment down below in the description, guys. And um, yeah, I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.